Hello, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Um, we left off last time. We just built a well, placed the construction for our well. Some stuff has arrived. It is currently now being constructed, I guess, or we're waiting for Rick, sorry. Let's check this again. Oh. This one here. Blocks. We should have blocks. We have a uh, mechanism, rope, bucket. And there we go. Look at that. Nicely done. The well is operational. That'll do. That'll help in terms of getting drinks. Um, can we brew a drink from fruit? Let's try that. Weather's cleared. Brew a drink from the fruit, see what happens there. This barrel has things in it. Nice. What's this? Tapered baguette cut pink jade. Rectangular milk quartz. Cabunches. Cabun Cabochons. Uh, I guess, sure. Um, the book has grown to become a hen. So actually, we need somewhere to get our animals grazing. And we've cut out a nice area there for wood. That's no training dining hall there we go pasture Creature is assigned to pasture. I don't know. I assume it makes sense to put those animals in. Dogs and cats can stay inside. I guess. That makes sense? Sure, we'll go with that. Would have been the thing to do with the axe that we had, that we lost. But maybe next time we will remember to do that. Let's see how the bees are doing. Oh! Royal Jenny Honeybee Honeycomb has not been filled, not been filled, not been filled, not been filled. No. No. I'm not taking that. So, item that's the bees. So, what this is a honeybee royal jelly. <coughs> and a honeycomb. Honeybee wax honeycomb. Value of 10. Okay, but when is it split? This is what I want to know. Uh, 
another thing, if you know. Uh, oh, hold on, pause. Uh, the fortress attracted no migrants this season. Okay. That's not so bad. Right? Because we don't need to deal with that. Uh, we have a broker. That's awesome. Let's... Oh, we can't bring anything. Okay, let's request the broker. And then see. Okay, we can't do anything. There are no merchants trading, so there's no point. That's alright. We'll ignore that for now. It would be nice if there was a way of seeing without having to click. that the hive is occupied. Right. And you sometimes you'll see the bee on top of it, I suppose. Cherry tree sapling. It's a lot of saplings. Onion plants, onion leaves, onion umbel. Um, let's do that. We'll clear out around these a bit. Oh, we have a dead bird. This is crow remains. It's coated with water let's quickly pause and check dead missing other eagle great horned owl okay uh, sign a trainer to this creature Tell the weather this creature will receive war training. War animals have more lethal attacks. Tell the weather this will receive hunter training. Domesticated. Let's train them both. Hunters. What's this? I'll go whether this creature will be gelded at a farmer's workshop when the opportunity arises. What is gelding? Overall training. Blind cave bears. What? What's that? It's just every animal that we've seen? Jabberers. The Jabberer. Rutherers. Voracious cave crawlers. Are these things that I have. or my dwarves have seen? Elk birds. Well. Wow. Okay. Zoom. One, who can get the kitchen up and run, please, somebody. Suspend. Resume. They, is there a way to know? Cancel this trade at depot, not responsible for trade. Yes. Started raining. Uh -huh. Guess mm, I should have gone one extra, and we could move it up, and then we'd have chairs on all sides. <clears throat> but it's fine. Let's open that up. 
open that up. Do we have doors? And they keep that space is grand. Okay. Pause. Survival planting. Let's pause while I read this. Uh, there's some food on the embark wagon, and you can trade for food, but you can also grow your own. The wagon comes with some seeds, but as you might expect, these crops must be grown underground. Using mining orders, you'll need to carve out a rectangular area underground for your farm plot. The underground rectangle must be near the surface where there is soil, loam, clay, or sand. One level down should suffice. Or you hit rock. The highest mountain elevations do not have soil. Make sure to leave ceiling above intact so the underground soil doesn't receive any sunlight. Okay. With a subterranean soil floor exposed, you can place an underground farm plot. This isn't rich soil, but will suffice for now. Dig deeper to find better soil. Okay, good to know. Select farm plot from the build menu, workshop, farming, farm plot. Place farm plot on subterranean soil. You need to select the crops to be grown each season. Click on the farm plot placed to pull up the farming menu. Pump helmets are edible and the default Wagon comes with plump helmet spawn, which are the seeds. Note that you can obtain above ground seeds from trade or by eating gathered plants, but above ground farming exposes your planters to dangers of the elements. May your planters, those that can access both the farm plot and the spawn, will plant the field, and after a period of growth, they'll be harvested. If you'd like to focus a few of your citizens on farming, which gives skill benefits, you can assign them to the planters' work detail from the labor menu. Fertilizer and skilled planters have a direct impact on crop yield. These effects are more pronounced deep underground, where you can locate the cavern biome and its rich soil. Potash is the fertilizer of choice that it can be created in the ashery using ash from wood burned in a wood furnace a water source zone and a bucket are also required fertilizer is not needed to farm not needed but probably good so we've got our ash excuse me but our ashery is not being built Labor. Let's take a look at this again. Um, right. Uh, buttery tang farming fields. Dying, pressing, beekeeping, soap making. Oh, soap making, wood burning, hot ash making. Okay. So maybe I need. Dabbling planter, novice, novice, novice planter, let's get you. And we'll turn off your fishing, because... Um... Turn off your fishing because there's no fish. Only the selected do this. Yeah, go on. That's fine. You can do it. You're the only one dealing with it. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Talented Flounder. Where did you come from? You're a bookkeeper. Okay. That seems decent. And maybe one of those two will now build this ashery. And the kitchen is the other thing. This guy is crafting. Health, status wounds, treatment, history, description, skills, legendary stone crafter. Nice. Uh, we want to do this engraving, don't we? Finish that, that, that. That was already done. Arnin, Ar 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 the sculpted city engraved on the wall is an image of a wave by Coben Erst Beckest. But I think that's good. We have a number of mechanisms, so let's take that off repeat. Let's check our stocks. We've ten. I guess one in use. Ten. Seems right. What are you carving? Engraving, I should say. Oh, hold on, we got notifications here uh, figurine of normal work but talc jug needs honey containing item needs unrotten accessible to barrel plants bunch of stuff. Laos. Hmm. Paused. Oh. Rock Joe has been completed. Engraved is a niche edition of the Gilded Triangle, an exceptionally designed image of two ballista arrows. The image is the symbol of the momentous cloisters, a local dwarven government. Okay. Uh, amulet earring. Ooh. Weather's cleared. Okay, this is just a gathering area, I don't know. Meeting area. Is it worth putting anything in there? Don't know. Good question. Still nothing here. We're waiting for something in particular. Uh, blocks, barrel, bucket. Used to make light, 
Parash, Milk of Lime, Construction of Red Fox, Park. Plenty of blocks. Plenty of buckets. Plenty of barrels by the look of things. What's this? Sand pear cider. Okay. That is good to see. We have some pear seeds, which I assume we can plant somewhere. Do another. Do all of those. See what happens. Uh, cancels fertilized field need potash. Yeah, we don't have potash because you're not building the ashery. And I don't know why that is yet. Thoughts. Uneasy after being unable to pray to Tan for too long. Unable to pray to Idrath. Vault Jade. The Bejeweled for too long. Okay. Let's take a look. There's no search for this. It'd be nice if there was a search. The current and optional path to victory is to have your fortress elevated to a barony. From there you can build your wealth, export goods, and attract more migrants until you become a county. Then a duchy. A happy fortress with many exports and massive wealth can attract the existing monarch of the civilization. This is the first step to completing the game. Next, you'll need to satisfy your ruler's needs and finally become a mountain home by seating them on a legendary throne with seven mythical symbols of office. You'll be an accomplished player at this point. But this is only the beginning. Ultimately, your true goals are up to your imagination. Call visitors from all over the world with the greatest tavern, library, or temple. Temple, that's what we're looking for. Temple. Uh, the world has ever known. Build an elaborate water-powered contraption or domesticate previously untamable wild beasts. Settle in undivable regions tormented by ancient evils and defend your fortress from zombies with your own army of vampires. Your exploits will be recorded for Legends mode and by the master engravers in subsequent fortresses in your world. Sounds pretty cool. Perhaps... Channels, military, meeting areas, locations. Meeting areas are zones where your citizens gather when not working or taking care of their needs. Zones can be assigned to special locations. Usually one meeting area is sufficient, but locations can span several zones. There are five types of locations, which we'll go over in turn. Taverns are where your residents gather to drink, socialize, tell stories, and dance. To have a fully functioning tavern, you must have a stockpile with booze in it, preferably close by. The inhabitants also like to drink from goblets, cups, or mugs. These must be stored in chests, coffers inside the tavern. Optionally, you can place tables and chairs where your residents can eat. You may also leave a cleared space your, your tavern goers will use as a dance floor. If you have any musical instruments, these can also be used by the tavern. From the tavern info menu, you can choose to assign performers or tavern or a tavern keeper who will serve the visitors drinks. There is also an option to allow outsiders to come to your tavern. Uh, temples are places for faithful residents to commune with their chosen deity. So yes, we need to create a temple. Upon creation of a of the location, you must choose which deity to dis dedicate the temple to, if any. Sometimes the adherents to a certain religion will demand that you build a temple to their specific deity. You can see how many worshippers of each deity live in your fortress by scrolling over their names in the temple info menu. You can see the value of the temple. Sometimes the worshippers will demand that you increase the value of the temple by decorating or adding furniture like statues. You can also add chests or coffers to hold musical instruments that 
the faithful will use. You can also assign performers to the temple, and even priests once the temple becomes more established. Hospitals. Your unfortunate citizens are taken to the hospital when injured. There they will rest and given water until they are seen by a doctor. To fully function, your hospital needs to have beds, buckets with a source of water, thread for sutures, and cloth for bandages. You must build chests or coffers inside the hospital to store these items. Some injuries require splints or gypsum plaster powder for orthopedic casts. Soap is necessary to prevent infection. Some patients will need crutches after they are treated. You'll need to appoint a chief medical dwarf from the noble nobles and administrators menu. You'll need to assign a doctor to the hospital from the hospital info menu. Later, you can assign doctors to specific roles, such as diagnostician. The doctor will need a table to perform surgeries. Some injuries require traction benches. Okay. We saw in the mechanics shop, which can be built at the mechanics shop. Libraries, the thirst for knowledge some residents have can be satisfied at the library. From the library info menu, you can assign scholars who discuss their interest with the inhabitants and scribes to record them. Beware, some knowledge is dangerous. In order to hold scrolls and codices, you will need bookcases. You will also need tables for your scribes to work on, chests or coffers are needed to store the writing material for the scribes to write on. Guild halls are where the workers of specific professions gather to socialize and share their knowledge. Deciding which guild to dedicate the guild hall to, you can scroll over the names of the guilds and see how many workers of each profession there are and whether a guild has been established. As the guild grows in power, they may demand a guild hall or of greater value. This can be increased by decorating the hall and building furniture like statues. Okay. Where would be good to start doing that? Then, I suppose we could start here. Meeting area, dining hall, pen pit, pond, water source, dungeon, fishing, sand, clay, tomb, animal. And so I don't. This is the zone. I don't think it's location. That's burrow. Yeah, so I don't know where location comes from. Find a new or. Okay, here. New in. Tavern, Temple, Guildhall. Create an inn. The Tummy of Hatches. Set details for the assigned location. Assign new or existing location. Details. All visitors welcome. Citizens, long term residents. Citizens only. Say all for now. Tavern Keeper. Proficient judge of intent, proficient comedian, competent persuader, competent negotiator. Let's go with you. Sure, why not? Former, competent musician. Sure. Uh. So, stored instruments, we don't have any instruments, so maybe we don't actually need to want that. Um, desired hand goblets. So, paused. Goblet. Okay, cool. Let's go with a rock. 
No. Okay, uh, let... Black, bronze, blazing brass, copper, gold, iron, lay, lead, multicolored metal, nickel, platinum, rose, tin, glass, crystal, Oops. Mug. Rock mug. Let's do that. We want ten of those. Mm. Or add it. Rock. Chest. No. Buffer. Ten of those. Um. Yeah. Bookcase cabinet, that was what I was thinking of. Ten cabinets. Okay, let that run. from this one that was here. Oh. One. And two. Three. Three extra fives. Four. Nice. not quite ready. Ah. Amal Lord Consort Axe Dwarf Swords Dwarf mm, Do they show up? They do. This organizational activity will branch into specific social events. Uh, can I focus on you? We'll be able to, right? Yeah, there we go. There's one. Are the three of them in here? He's down here. Okay, cool. Other oh, this one is up here. So yet yeah, they're on the way in. They haven't all come in yet. Hope you socialize well. You see he's grouchy when caught in the rain. He feels fondness talking with an acquaintance. Good. Hope the acquaintance acquaintance is somebody in here. And there was a passing acquaintance. Cool. Very good. Uh, 
Uh, okay, well, I think we'll leave it there again tonight. Um, thank you for joining. Like and subscribe. Drop comments down below, and I will catch you next time. All the best. Bye-bye.